Hello holographers and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Arturo and I'm the community manager at Looking Glass. In this video, we'll be covering the use of our web-based 3D model and Gaussian splat viewer. With this tool, you'll be able to import, view, and interact with any supported 3D model or Gaussian splat on a looking glass. You'll also be able to export your hologram for offline use and for uploading to our hologram sharing platform, Blocks. To start things off, we'll need to make sure that our looking glass is connected to the computer and that looking glass bridge is running. To confirm this, click or hover over the bridge icon in your system tray or menu bar. If bridge sees your looking glass, it should appear as a connected device. If it doesn't, try disconnecting and reconnecting your cables and restarting bridge, or visiting our documentation to troubleshoot your connection. If your looking glass display is properly connected, Use the cast button on the viewer to send a live feed of your scene to your looking glass. Here, you can pan, rotate, zoom, and focus into and out of your 3D model, exploring it as a hologram on your looking glass. Using the controls pop-up, you can adjust your hologram preview settings. You can find more details about each setting and how it affects your hologram preview by hovering over the setting in the pop-up or pausing on this next screen. Under library, you can download a set of our default models to explore, or view and remove your own imported models. Using the background scene settings, you can change the HDRI of your scene and even auto-rotate your model. Additionally, you can change the background color to your own selected color and change the intensity and blur settings for your background. To render out a hologram for use in offline viewing or for sharing on our hologram sharing platform, Blocks, simply use the Save Hologram button and a save prompt will appear. Be sure not to change the Quilt Settings section of the hologram name so that all our services and tools can easily recognize your hologram settings. To load a Gaussian splat into the viewer, simply copy and paste the link to the splat you're trying to load and follow the same steps you would for viewing a 3D model. Have something you'd want to see on a looking glass or covered in our tutorials? Let us know in the comments. And there you have it, an overview of how to use our 3D model and Gaussian splat viewer, allowing you to expand your hologram creation on the web. Be sure to subscribe for more videos on tools and techniques for making the most out of your looking glass display, and check out our Discord to stay up to date on all the interesting and novel ways that creators just like you are using their displays.